In layman's terms, the sound is generated in headphones by causing vibration to a thin and lightweight sheet of foil known as the diaphragm inside the respective drivers. The vibration is done by using magnetic fields that help the diaphragm to move around in tandem with the driver. Dynamic drivers being the relatively common configuration for speakers and headphones, planar magnetic drivers often have a tendency to arguably provide sound quality that's above average but while costing more power and taking up more space. In our video today, we'll try to figure out which one of these drivers you should go for, so without further ado, let's begin. First up, in terms of design, dynamic drivers have the most basic and simple design configuration out of all the driver archetypes. By making use of a small current from the audio source, the drivers generate a magnetic field in the voice coil. Since the coil is attached to the diaphragm, it's attracted to the permanent magnet when charged up. This current causes the diaphragm to vibrate and the process produces sound waves. Planar magnetic drivers on the other hand share some similarities with dynamic drivers since they also send electrical current to a dedicated conductive material known as windings, which interferes with the magnetic fields that lie within the driver. But since the windings are spread across the membranes of the diaphragm, it causes vibration when electrically charged. However, the unfortunate news is that in order for this to work properly, you gotta have comparatively larger magnets that are able to properly cover the surface of the conductive material, initially explaining why planar magnetic headphones are comparatively bulkier, carry more weight, and cost more power in comparison. Now, for the bass response. Planar magnetic drivers typically have the upper hand here since they come with more extensions, resulting in better low-end frequencies. They have comparatively lesser levels of roll-offs even when compared to high-end dynamic headphones of the same caliber. And since the diaphragm of the planar magnetic drivers is comparatively thinner, it produces a tighter and faster reacting, well-balanced bass response that keeps itself separated from the mid-range. Now dynamic headphones have more variety in driver sizes and a plethora of frequency responses. Considering how they're comparatively cheaper to produce, the drivers are often made in larger quantities, giving the listeners options to pick from separate bass profiles that suit them the most. For the soundstage, in general, planar magnetic drivers are superior. This is because of the larger drivers and how the whole diaphragm moves around to generate a sound wave from the get-go. Since said sound wave rely heavily on interactions with the air, a wavefront that's focused somewhat alters the way the sound enters our ear and produces an overall better soundstage in the process. Another benefit of having a broader wavefront is how it gives off a better representation of the imaging since it feels a lot less like it's coming from a generic direction and more like it's originating from your environment. Then again, if you go for the upper echelon dynamic driver headphones such as the HD800S from Sennheiser, You'll notice the drivers are large enough to produce a comparatively better soundstage, so with all jokes aside, yes, size does matter. While all that sounds, no pun intended, good enough so far, what about the sound that escapes our headphones and bleeds out into our environment? The term known as sound leakage, planar magnetic drivers has a bidirectional movement mechanism along with zero damping material on the back of the drivers resulting in leak of quite a bit of noise in comparison to your regular open back dynamic models. Not only does the sound push itself towards your ear canal, but due to having two opposing magnetic fields, a lot of that sound gets pushed outwards in the form of leaks. Then again, it's really not that big of an issue if you're going for a closed back variation of the planar magnetic headphones, since they're designed to mitigate audio leakage as much as they can. Therefore, Dynamic drivers get the ace in this round. In conclusion, the planar magnetic drivers are built for those who consider themselves critical listeners, since the drivers are a lot more complicated in terms of design and are often heavier and bulkier. And because of said design, the drivers draw more power but result in bass that's tighter and punchier and keeps close to the original audio signal. The design also produces less distortion when used at higher volumes and reproduces an overall better soundstage, though they can be rare to find. 
On the other hand, the dynamic drivers can be a great addition to both casual and critical listeners since the drivers are often mass manufactured, easy and affordable to get access to and pretty customizable in terms of what kind of sound you prefer. But due to the design, they do produce a significant amount of distortion and higher volumes and lack the overall quality of planar magnetic drivers. We hope that this video gave you an idea of both of these drivers and made it easy for you to make a decision. If it did, do let us know which one and which model you're going with as we would love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.